Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can create a blank fusion composition inside of DaVinci Resolve 15 so that you can start editing in the Fusion tab completely from scratch. So in order to add a fusion composition, that's the name of the generator, you need to go over to the effects library in the top left hand corner. Usually that's open by default, so we go down here and navigate to the toolbox and then generators. And in the list of generators we have one called fusion composition. So you can drag this onto any video track. If you already have clips in your timeline, you're probably going to be putting that on track two or above. And when we click on it, there's no color generation or anything. And we can confirm that by adding a clip below onto video track one. So you can see the fusion composition, it doesn't overlay anything yet. But if we go over to the fusion tab at the bottom, then we'll see that we're left with just a media out. So we need to define what is going to be going into that media out. And of course, there are many different effects you can achieve in the Fusion tab. Just to show a really quick example, we can add in a 3D text clicking over here. And if I right click and do view on the left view, we should be able to see some text come up when I add it to the styled text in the inspector. So we'll just put test here. And then we can add a 3D renderer so that we can actually output this to media out. So with media out, we have test outputting. We go back to the edit tab and we can see it showing on screen. So just by going through those simple steps, we've effectively recreated the text plus title, which is over on titles and then text plus over here. But in many cases, you might decide that you want a fusion composition without even having a title at all. So whatever your need cases are going to be, this is how you do it, having a completely blank fusion composition. So if you were wondering on where to find that blank fusion composition for editing in DaVinci Resolve, I hope this video helped you out. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.